All right. So, um, you are talking about here unstable concepts. I think that's all working well. Let me bring this up a bit higher. You added stones and grass. I think this is cool. It makes the camera clear in terms of what's going on and the height differences and everything. And the crab is not in the water. He's on the beach. I think the only stuff... Because this is all cool. I like all this. And I like your little overshoot and coming back. It doesn't freeze too much. I would probably say if you... This mass is so much bigger and stronger than these guys, right? So when you overshoot, like this, it's one thing to stretch out here and then come back and have that little, little wiggle there, which is cool. But I'm looking at this section here, taking over here, and it's here, bam, and then it just it just dies. And that to me kills the sense of scale and weight. So I would still have a bit of an overshoot here, and then you can softly come back. And I would probably rotate the body this direction as this arm reaches up, right? So you go up here, that's fine. And as this kind of recovers, you have this rotation that you have right here, just a bit sooner. And by sooner, I mean like one or two frames. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's just something about how quickly, how quickly this stops. And I know you have it go down a bit, but it just feels like it just stops on a dime and then it's soft. And the same thing with this, this rotation. You do have a rotation in here, but if you watch this in real time, it feels like you want to go one, two, three. As this recovers, you want to go down sooner and then have the soft movement in the body. Meaning you see that rotation that you're doing in here. You need to have a quicker, faster move through here because it's motivated by this. So you're reaching up and then you come down and, that, and the body reacts to that. And then an overall softer stop. So as this goes up, the next frame is pretty much in the same spot. You want to go up a bit and then come down just for, for, a, for a lesser harsh lump here. That's all cool, like your offset on the legs. I don't know if there's anything you can do with this section here. Watch out for pinchers where you're going up and then through here, it feels a bit straight. This feels like an IK where there's it could have a bit more of an arc and settle in an arcy fashion uh, the angle of this could change because you're starting to be stuck in this same angle especially through here this is tricky because this is exactly the same pose wise throughout here while there's a lot of movement through here which is your ik giveaway so as you go back with this knuckle elbow <laughs> you call it at this point i would have this whole section uh, come towards us, if this makes sense. Because you're rotating back and this could come towards us and you could either pinch this in or relax it a bit. Ooh, probably go in, go up, and then relax down. Just so there are some more shape changes there visually. Same with this guy. See that? That rotation is always the same. So it feels very IK-ish. Cool. See how this is cool? How it, how it wiggles? Oh, that feels better. This guy's a bit fast, there's a bit of a strobing here. This guy, what is this? Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which leg is which. Think how fast this guy goes in. So you're here, here, bam, and then here, look at that, you're on the same frame. So you would have to be like on this frame, be here, and maybe this guy is like that. Boom, next frame, you're here. This guy is here, and then maybe you can have coming back here. So it's kind of a -da -da -da. drags, overshoots, and come back. So that's just a bit harsh there. That's cool. I like this guy. It's kind of a bit snappy, but I think I think it's cool how you recover and comes over there. I wonder if just doing this drop, you can have more of an arc coming in. So it doesn't do like a over there, over back, and then down. So it's kind of a bit of an arcy recovery. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, there's something about it where 
come over, shoot back, stop, and then shoot over this way, and then we're just kind of very, very soft. So this feels more, because of this pause right through here, it feels like a deliberate move back and a deliberate move over, so then I would just go over and back and recover in an arc. And I wonder if you want to just take out this pause as well. So it shoots over here, and then it's, then it's a, an overshoot recovery in an arc over, versus over, pause, over, pause, over, pause, over, all those kind of kind of harsh moments there. And I have a look at the beginning because there's something bigger at the beginning I want to mention. So let me just finish this here. And since this is the ground and not sand, um, I don't know if you want to stop this guy from intersecting. Because it's a, it's a pretty soft lowering here. So this will, this makes the, so the ground really, really soft. And it would be cool if you just stop it here. And as this lowers, this, this part just doesn't intersect and maybe the pincher lowers this way. I'm careful about that. I buy all this because it's sharp and sure enough, you know, I mean it, it does lower itself as well a bit too much but I can be less picky about this one. This one just feels weird. This one just feels like a weird intersection. Even this one in the back. Go here and then as it drops here not intersect so much counter and move it up. Let's watch the beginning here. So my biggest thing about the beginning, although it's not this here, but I might as well mention it here. Uh, this feels again very straight, straight line here, feels like an IK thing where you want to move it maybe an arc and change the, the last uh, spiky angle there. The ones are okay. It would be cool if this pincher or this, this thing here. See how everything compresses, so this could go up or compress down with it, whatever you want to do. The tensing or just readjusting. This is cool. And the sections through there, right? I think it's just rubbing on top of it. I think it's okay. I think that's okay. You're just going around it. So cool. I don't know. Hold on, let me see if you have this animated. Yes, you do. You got these guys animated. So it would be cool if through here, something's going on in here as well. So it's not so... Like, I like it there, but after that, it kind of dies. Like, this is all cool. There's moving through there. And then drinking, that's cool. So something, some keep alive moment through there would be cool. So let me check something. So my very first impression before I was critiquing, critiquing everything else was this move here. This just feels very flat. Even these guys, very flat. And it's it's going really, really fast and it's stopping really fast. So there are a couple of things I would do here. If there's any way, as you come down here, even this feels like it's just a flat lowering. But maybe you could keep the butt up and it's the head that goes down so there's a bit of a lowering in the front so when you do this there's also an arc going this way so let me say this again here your nose will go down first with your butt up and then as you do this tracking this part it wouldn't just do this it would have a lower arc and as this happens you can lower the butt so there's also a bit of a change visually and then as you recover through here, that section, if you track it, it would do this. A bit of a arc you overshoot. At least that part is not stopping super fast. There's something going on by his pinchers, but just watch this in real time. Yeah, so it's, I think, I think this... The speed of recovery, I think that's okay. I'm gonna take this back. I think let's keep the timing. What just bugs me is that how straight it is. So if you can get a bit of a nicer arc in all of that pincher, and even when you do this, I wonder if it would be interesting. And that's up to you because it's a pain in the butt probably to animate all of this with the legs. But ideally here, uh, these guys will be flat. So they will be lower. And then you can bring this guy up a bit higher. Like a 
pinch it here so that it's a clean silhouette versus now you have all of this overlapping and it would be neat if this was just freer in terms of silhouette like even if it's overlapping but it's broken up like this it's clearer than just all of those legs here overlapping And then that way you can do, and then you can come back in this lower arc the way you have it. It might blend in nicely. That's my biggest thing. When I was watching this for the first time, it felt like this is really flat. There's some arcs missing. Just not as appealing in the end pose. That's all cool. Then it's a lot more interesting, just technical things. The rest is cool. All right, that is it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.